All right, this is the Fantasy Sports Boss with our Fantasy Football Week 3 running backs start sit. All right, running backs start sit. Now, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification button so you're made aware when new videos are added. All right, uh, later on today is the Fantasy Football Friday stream, live stream. I'm probably going to go on uh, a little bit earlier. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking around 3 o'clock maybe or, or 4 o'clock in that neighborhood um, because I have a, uh, a, a commitment later in the day when I usually do the stream. So I'm going to be doing it early tomorrow. Look for that notification in terms of when the live stream is going to be. Now, as far as the running backs that I'm interested in starting, and, and you know, like I always say, these are the debatable calls. These are not the obvious guys because you're starting Christian McCaffrey, you're starting Jonathan Taylor, no matter what. So these are the more um, argumentative ones, whether they should go one way or the other. Now, running backs, I'm starting. I'm starting J.D. McKissick, especially in PPR leagues. Well, mostly in PPR leagues, because I think the commanders are going to fall behind by a sizable margin against the Philadelphia Eagles. And I think there's going to be a lot of uh, catch-up passing being done in the second half. Carson Wentz is going to be looking at McKissick. And that's what happened last week against the Detroit Lions. There was a lot of check-down throws to McKissick during the second half. And I think that's going to happen again this week. I'm also going to go in on Damian Pierce. Pierce finally... Uh, um, got on track a little bit last week. He got more carries. Rex Her Burkhead became a secondary piece like he should have been from week one. Uh, I think, again, if, against a very poor Chicago Bears defensive front, Damian Pierce is going to be even that much more uh, busy in terms of workload. And I think the Texans will come out on top of this game and should be leading in the fourth quarter. So um, positive game script there. I do like uh, Josh Jacobs. Now, quietly, Josh Jacobs has worked as a workhorse. That's a mild surprise for me because the, the consensus over the summer was that he was going to have to, at the worst, uh, at very best, excuse me, he would have to share time um, with multiple other backs in this Raiders uh, secondary um, uh, running back room. That has not materialized. So Jacobs is almost working like a bell cow back for the Raiders, um, not on third downs. He's not going to get a lot of passing down work, but I think the Raiders are going to win this game, and I think they're going to they're going to jump out to the lead here. So just like with Damian Pierce against Chicago, it's going to be positive game script for Josh Jacobs against the Tennessee Titans. Uh, and then finally, Michael Carter and Brees Hall. I would start both of them against the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, in particular, Carter... Um, he too should get a lot of check down passes, um, you know, during the second half. I think the Bengals will win this game. So again, in terms of, uh, the, the script of the game, Carter should get a lot of work, both running and catching the, uh, the, uh, the football. Now my sit options, I'm sitting Raheem Mostert this week. I still can't believe he's made it through two games without getting injured, but now he's taking on a very potent Buffalo Bills defense that doesn't give a lot, up a lot of run in the, uh, a lot of space in the run game. So I'm going to sit most of it this week. And I still think Chase Evans is going to be a thing. I think it's going to be more even in terms of touches this week. I'm going to sit James Conner against the Rams. James Conner's not 100% physically. All it's going to take is just one flare up for him to go out of the game early. The Rams have a very tough defensive line with Aaron Donald and company. So I'm going to sit James Conner. Also, Travis Etienne, um, not liking what we're seeing, single digit fantasy points in both of his games so far, taking a clear backseat to James Robinson. Chargers defense are, is a handful. Derwin James will be spying him, so I don't like Travis Etienne this week. Cordero Patterson against the Seattle Seahawks, I'm fading him as well. Uh, he came back to earth with a thud last week. I think the Seahawks are a better team than, than maybe uh, we give them credit for. Um, you know, last week they got blown out, but they did de defeat the Denver Broncos in week one. I think that Patterson is going to have a tougher time this week. And also the biggest issue is um, Algier, the uh, the rookie out of BYU, split carries with Patterson, and he got the goal line work. So if, he, if, that's going to, if that's an arrangement that's going to continue, then Patterson is not going to get a lot of valuable touches. All right, hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. Uh, receivers, tight ends coming soon in terms of the start and sit and other uh, injury-related videos.